Isra is a 14-year-old lovely girl who actually came all the way from Iraq after us having done extensive teleconsultations and discussions and seeing her scans online before she actually came all the way across from far land. <laughs> Isra was having basically the syndrome, a rare syndrome called craniofrontonasal nasal dysplasia, which essentially consists of two halves of the face not actually coming together and creating a defect in the midline, the nose being in two parts like a bifid nose, the two sockets of the eye basically wide apart and not actually meeting together in the midline properly. I came to the Ministry of the Health of the Iraqi and I met with Dr. Sonel and the situation. We needed to plan properly and we did a good job at it. The first thing we did is we did a thorough three-dimensional CT scan of the face which allowed us to actually evaluate the skull in three dimensions and we could manipulate this image on the software and actually plan our cuts. I involved a senior neurosurgeon, Dr. Prakash Singh, in this particular case because of his extensive experience. My job was to expose the skull and the skull base, which I did with the bifrontal craniotomy. Uh, the surgery was difficult because of the previous surgery. There was no anatomical plane. Uh, we dissected it gingerly and uh, uh, then expose the whole uh, anterior cranial fossa and the orbits, uh, which uh, later on were uh, corrected uh, by Dr. Sunil and his team. And my plan was to dissect all the bones on the skull, dissect the orbits all around the eye, and then cut and move the bones in the proper position. During the surgery, we did have some issues. Whenever we used to retract the eyeball, we used to get a sudden fall in the heart rate, and then we used to go back. Excellent neuroanesthesia team gave us a fantastic backup and we managed to pull through this grilling, grueling audacity of almost seven and a half to eight hours. I was a little bit of 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 a The skull was actually given more space so that the brain could expand. All the gaps in the skull were also filled in. And this was basically uh, so successful that Isra could actually move out of the ICU in just two days' time. And today, Isra can't stop smiling at herself whenever she looks at the mirror and looks at her new self-image, new self, uh, you know, new face, uh, which is beaming with pride and dignity. This is essentially a triumph of human spirit. This is a triumph of technology. This is a triumph of surgical skills. And uh, I think I'm extremely proud of my entire team and my colleagues who actually helped us through uh, this entire exercise. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest healthcare updates.